What is up guys? My name is Jen and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to go over how to iron wash pottery. So I have a bunch of this glaze work that we're going to glaze. We're going to iron wash and then glaze. So what I like to do is I like to iron wash the outsides. I like to carve in details and then iron wash the outsides, glaze the inside and it makes it a pretty cool look. This is white pottery. Um, it's I think it's called Little Loafers and so it's turned out white but i love the way iron wash looks on it it gives it more of like an earthy look and feel and i think it looks super good and then i'll just kind of go through how, how i make iron wash and how i use it on my pots uh so then you can add some iron wash to your pottery and make your pottery look super cool as well so what you're gonna need is red iron oxide i bought a ton of it in this bag i don't recall it being very expensive so you just need red iron oxide and water and what i have is already a mixture mixed up of some of it in here right now and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little bit more to it literally it's all just a guesstimate so you throw some red iron oxide in there then then I'm gonna add some water to this and mix it up and it will literally be good to go it's so simple so I added some water to it and now it's good to go. You can just mix it up. The downside to red iron oxide is that everything gets stained. Your hands are going to get stained. Your brushes are going to be stained. Your towels are going to be stained. Everything's going to be stained. So I suggest you putting down newspaper or something. But we're just going to mix this up and now you have red iron oxide and water. And that's all you need. Let's go ahead and add iron oxide to some of my pots. Okay, so I have a pot and this has uh, mandalas all over it. And I'm going to go ahead, mix this up, and paint it on just like that. If you find that you're not having, if you want it to be redder, add more red iron oxide to your pot. If you want it to be less red, add less. It's pretty much that simple. And then I just go all the way through and around it. Make sure all the creases get red iron oxide in it. All right, so now that looks pretty good. So the next step is removing the red iron oxide. So what you want to do is get a bowl full of water. This is leftover water. It's go it's going to turn red. And you're just going to take a sponge this is my red iron oxide sponge i use it every time so dip it in water and then you're just going to wipe it off like that and then it's going to reveal the under part of the design and then but leave some dark residue on top of it as well and then you just go over take it off as much as you want And then it ends up looking like this, which is pretty cool, I think. And then what I do is I'm going to go ahead and glaze the inside and the outside, or at least these parts of it, and then the handle, and it will be good to go. So yeah, it's a super easy process, but it, all, it makes it look so cool, I think. So if you're interested in using red iron oxide, I highly recommend it. I think it's like up-leveled my pots so much. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know if you've used Iron Wash before and how you've liked it. Or if you know any other ways to use it. I'd love to hear how you use it. So that's all I got today. See you in the next one. Peace, guys.